I have a scene I'm working on in Blender that's going to need the use of a lot of BVH files. So, first things first, file, user preferences, add-ons. If you search for motion, um, the word motion right there is import, export, BVH files. Click on that bugger. Once you've got them in Blender, you want to do something with them, so click on uh, motion capture tools. And when I'm done, I usually save out to as an MDD file, which is a point cache uh, file type. If you think you want to do the same thing, quick search MDD, uh, click on that, save user settings, close the box, uh, go and have a look under file, import, down the bottom there, there's BVH and MDD, export, down the bottom, BVH, MDD, over under your uh, object panel and your object panel down there are your mocap tools. Now, speaking of mocaps, open up your browser, uh, Navigate to mocap.cs.cmu.edu under resources. Uh, <coughs> these are all file. These are all saved out in some strange format that I'm not sure Blender can even uh, handle. But some kind fellow at CG Speed has already converted them all into BVH files. So I just go there. Uh, on this page, at the bottom of this page, you can see there's a link for BV Hacker and uh, other utilities. BV Hacker is a tool I'll show you in a minute. For now, 3ds Max friendly BVH releases. There's all the files. Download all of those. I've done that, uh, and and put them all into one big file. You end up with lots of numbered uh, folders inside, which are numbered BVH files, which tell you nothing. So at the same time, make sure you download the index spreadsheet, and there you've got a brief description of each of the files and what they do. I'm going to need lots of walk and run and um, characters doing some pretty zany things. So I've already been through this whole process, checked out the ones I want. Um, up in uh, uh, check them in BVH Hacker, uh, got them ready for import into Blender, given them a meaningful name, as you can see here, banana slip and walk foyer and blah blah blah. Um, Let's have a look at, uh, at some of these. Let's open up BVH Hacker, BV Hacker, sorry, this is what it looks like. Open up File, Open, and um, Banana Slip. Uh, your armature comes into BV Hacker, and now you can just uh, hit play and have a look and see what it does. Even with the description, it's not really clear sometimes, but here, Banana Slip, character walks along, slips on a banana, big theatrical fall. Uh, and so again, that would be fine for one of my background characters. Open up your file, rename it to something meaningful, and, and save it. Here's one at random. Open this one up. When it comes in, you've got your classic T stance uh, armature in the middle of the grid. Hit play. What's he going to do? He's going to wobble his head and wave his arms and... What is it? A kind of a warm-up routine for a dance, perhaps? He may even be good for one of my characters. Again, I want a room full of people in a foyer of a building uh, just milling about and doing the strange things that people do. So uh, how I would prepare this is go to prepare and hit center. For some reason, these are all saved out at 120 frames per second. So under edit, resample to half frames twice. Uh, and, and you're now at 30 frames per second, which is what I'm recording at. Quick play to make sure it's all right. That's exactly fine. It's a little faster than it was, but that'll do me. Save, uh, navigate to your own folder where you want to save them. Give it a meaningful name, wobbly head, uh, .bvh. That will get tapped onto the end naturally anyway. Hit save. Bam. Bob's your uncle. You're ready to go. Close that bugger up. Go back to Blender. Where's Blender gone? Uh, here we go. Here's my character, a little salary man in a suit and tie. Uh, have a look at the rig. The, the uh, complexity of this is extreme. I'm going to be putting it through a lot of uh, extreme animations. So getting the, the, the whole apparatus of the shoulder working has been quite a, quite a challenging job. And getting the animation of the jacket right has been a, a whole issue in itself. But for now, let's just get the BVH side of things happening on a separate layer in the um, armature layers, 
these are the bones that will be animated by the BVH file. There's only 17 of them, so it's easy to manage. Make sure you go into object mode. Um, open up a, a free layer somewhere if you like. You can always import into the same layer as your armature. Uh, go file, import, uh, BVH. Uh, navigate to your file, banana slip BVH, and import. Nothing happened. Oh, yes, it did. Look at this. You end up with a gargantuan sized armature uh, that's been imported in. Go to your mocap tools. We need to shift select my own armature in object mode and suddenly the mocap tools are populated with all the bones from the imported rig. Now it's a simple matter. We've got to map the... Uh, oh well no, first of all we've got to sort the size issue out. Uh, up there is auto uh, size the performer rig. The imported rig is called the performer. Hit that, boom, it's immediately roughly the size we want. It'll do, it's not critical. Uh, now, uh, tab into pose mode on my own armature, I can select each individual file and map it to the corresponding bone in the imported armature. So hip to hip, abdomen to spine dot mid, uh, chest to spine dot chest, and so forth. You could, uh, you could rename your rig, uh, and then if you hit guess the hierarchy, it will automatically do it for you, but different BVH files have different named rigs coming in, so it, 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 you know, it's, it, it, it really doesn't help. Uh, it's easy enough to just go through and, and select each individual bone and map it to the one in the imported rig. And once you've done it once, you can save that mapping um, down here, save mapping, and Next time you import a, a BVH, just hit load map, and boom, there you go. They're all there, all mapped, ready to go. Uh, now, once you're happy that everything is where it should be, you scroll down to the bottom, and whatever you do, don't hit retarget. Uh, of course, go back into object mode first. Uh, don't hit retarget. Unselect and reselect advanced retarget, and immediately my armature strikes the same pose as the imported one. If we scroll through the animation, uh, or you can see from here, each, each bone has got a copy rotation constraint on it. If we scroll through the, uh, uh, the, the animation, my armature is copying the, the rotations of all the imported. Um, action, but none of the lateral movement. First, let's, le let's get this uh, length of animation sorted out. It looks like 79 frames. Hover your cursor in the timeline, hit E, and there you go. That's got that sorted out. Now we can hit play and it will go through uh, and reset at the appropriate time. Slips, falls over, lands on his back. Okay, we've just got to sort out this. Uh, lateral movement thing. You can see on the neck bone it's been given a copy location constraint where we don't need it, so just get rid of that bugger. And on the hip where we do need it, it's easy enough to put that in manually. Uh, so add bone constraint, copy location, control C, control V, control C, control V, and boom, you're right. I hit offset, I immediately fly up in the air, go to global and just drop myself down to the same position again. Uh, I like to use offset so I can do some fine tuning a bit later on, uh, but that looks like it's exactly where it should be. Uh, at the moment, my feet are in the air. We're going to sort all out this all this out later. But now the my armature moves with the imported armature. Uh, if we um, if we bring in the mesh very quickly and and let it catch up to where we're at, here he is. You can see issues like this. The foot is at the wrong end angle because the uh, the rest position of my foot bone is at you know what 20 degrees down or so, uh, while that is out at 90 degrees. Next episode, we'll look at how to adjust all these things on a gross level uh, by going into the animation curves, the F curves of the imported armature, and making the necessary adjustments. So next time. Uh, all the adjustments before we finally bake the animation to my own armature.